Hello, I'm Sandy Stonich. I'm with the early morning mist rising behind me. I'm about to set off on a journey down through the Strass to the River Dee here in Aberdeenshire in the company of an outstanding fiddler, Paul Anderson. On the way, we'll meet with some of Paul's friends for a song or two and some tunes that will set your feet tapping. And although the Dee rises some 15 miles up in the heart of the Cairn Gorhams, we're going to start our journey here at the Lynn of Dee. Lynn is an old Scottish word for waterfall or cataract. Rumour has it that Lord Byron, as a young boy, rumbled down the rocks here and nearly lost his life. And to start off, Paul is going to play the high-level hornpipe, followed by the wind that shakes the barley, Miss Fraser of Cullen, and you'll end up with the Brigadier.
That was Paul playing his own composition, The Journey Home. Paul was seated on the parapets of Invercall Bridge, built after the Jacobite Rebellion in 1753. Dominating the landscape in this part of Deeside is the mountain Loch Nagar, which so impressed Lord Byron he penned a song about its steep frowning glories. You will now hear that song sung by Jim Reed, but before the song you'll hear the words of the poem by Sid Scroggy. I will attempt the cable track, old, stiff and retrograde, and get some pal to push me on, should resolution fade. For I must see black meekle pap against a starry sky, and watch the dawn from Loch Nagar once more before I die. The golden plover whistled there before the fall of man, and you can hear the brittle croak of lonely ptarmigan. No heather there but boulders bare and quartz and granite grit and ribs of snow bleak, old and grey, as I remember it. And if I do not make the top, then sit me on a stone, some lichened rock among the screes, and leave me there alone. Yes, leave me there alone to hear where spout and buttress are, the breeze that stirs the little loch on silent Loch Nagar. Hey, ye landscapes, ye gardens of roses, and you let the minions of luxury rove. Restore me the rocks where the snowflake reposes, if still they are sacred to freedom and love. Yet Caledonia, beloved are thy mountains, Round their white summits the elements war. The cataracts form, stead of smooth flowing fountains, I sigh for the valley of dark Loch Nagar. There my young footsteps in infancy wandered, my cap was the bonnet, my cloak was the plaid. On chieftains departed, my memory pondered as daily I strayed through the pine-covered glade. I sought not my home till the day's dying glory gave place to the rays of the bright polar star. For fancy was cheered by traditional story, disclosed by the natives of dark Loch Nagar. Years have rolled on, Loch Nagar, since I left you. Years must elapse ere I see you again. Though nature of verdure and flowers has bereft you, yet still thou art dearer than Albion's plain. And glen thy beauties are tame and domestic to one who has roved on the mountains afar and it's all for the crags that are wild and majestic the steep frowning glories of dark Loch Nagar
Paul, excellent. Thanks, Andy. Here we are in the grounds of a Boyne Castle, right. all the way down from Ballater. I believe there's something special about that selection you just played. That's right. Um, it was a selection of tunes written by Peter Milne, famous fiddle composer for Tarland, um, who taught James Scott Skinner is just a spay and reel technique. And um, the three tunes were, well, appropriately, Tarlin Memories, followed by The Marshness of Huntley, or alternatively, A Boyne Castle, and finishing up with The Marks of Huntley. Very good. Mark. Maybe that selection will make Peter Mill a bit better known nowadays. Oh, eh, I Paul? hope so, hope so. He's a bit underrated, I think, as a composer. Very good.
that famous beauty spot in the D, the Brick of Patak. We're standing outside the Patak Hotel, and beside my feet are the two huge stones that our famous athlete and strongman Donald Dinney carried across the Brig of Patak. Today's strongmen still try to emulate that amazing feat. Now Paul is going to play three compositions by the famous Scott Skinner, Ossian, the Brig of Patak, and the Mains of Gartley. We've now reached Bankry here on the River Dee to meet Paul's next guest, Barbara Ann Burnett. Barbara Ann comes from Tyree near Fraserborough up in the Murray Firth. She's equally at home singing Mozart, Scottish songs or Bothy ballads. But today, Barbara Ann is going to sing The Star of Bankry's Land. Bankry's 
ones are bonny when spring rolls in the year. We lost is sweet and bonny, but need as sweet as my dear. There's need as sweet as my only dear to Lee would be a sin. And I do think she would be styled the star of Bankery's land. She is a handsome creator, her humour's frank and free. And money's the next she's gain consent to talk a walk with me. Oh, money's the next she's gain consent to walk down by the lynn. May heaven bless you, bonnie lass, while lives at Kearney when I'm deep in love and sad, oppressed and troubled in my mind. My restless heart within my breast, no comfort can I find. My restless heart within my breast, no comfort finds at all. It's a half or bed to care, no when she stone my heart away. was on a summer's evening as I come free the fair. While stand and gaze and run and run, I spied my loved one there. While stand and gaze and run and run, my loved one met my view. But I could get no word we had for all that I could do. Grieves my heart. Oh, don't you mind your nap on necklace? It gives me pain. For I near had to turn my part to meet with you again. But he who rules the universe and fixed the stars on high, to whom creation all the power nations low or high, to whom creation all the Submissive to his plan, he made the last the time who best the star of Bankry's
We're now at Crathers Castle, which for 400 years had been in the Burnett family until Sir James Burnett, the 13th Baronet, transferred it to the National Trust. Crathers lies just east of Bankery, where the River Fuch joins the Dee. And in his selection, you've just heard Paul played the Brig of Fuch, the Lodge of Glen Tanner, and John McNeil. We'll now go to the gardens, the famous Crathers Gardens, to hear Lucy Seymour Dale sing the Sally Gardens. It's evening now, and I'm sitting at the house of Jim and John Stevenson, the Pipers who you've already met at Aboyne Castle. I'm looking at the view from their house, out over Tarland, cool, across the Dee, to the majestic mountain of Loch Nagar. And down on my right, I look over the McRobert farmlands. The McRobert Trust was formed by the McRobert family on the death of their two sons, in the Second World War. It is fitting, therefore, that Jim and John Stevenson will now play The Flight of the Eaglets 
better known as McRoberts Lament, followed by the Star Jump and the Devil Staircase. We've reached the end of our journey down the side and arrived back here in Tarland, the birthplace of Peter Mill, the fiddle composer, and of course, near where Paul Anderson himself lives. Thank you very much for being with us on the banks of the Dee. And over my shoulder here, you can hear the music. Paul Anderson and friends are finishing today in a real Cayley fashion. So come a while and hist you back to Deeside. <laughs>